Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to create this. So as you saw in the preview, this looks very professional and at the same time, it's very easy to create. You can use any kind of text or logo, whatever you want. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So you can go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate. You can go with 30 FPS or 60, whatever you want. Duration, let's go with 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create a background. So in order to do that, just right click, go to new solid. And let's make this a little bit of off white color, something like this. Also, you can rename it to BG for background. Just click on OK. Now we have our background. So let's add some text. So select the text tool and you can click anywhere you want. After that, you can start typing whatever text you want to use. So I'm going to type motion nations. And now you can select your text. Now you can select a different font, whatever you want. So for this example, I'm going to stick with this one. So let's align this in the center of this composition using the align panel. And in case you are not able to see this, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can select the layer, hold down the control key or, and then double click on this pan behind anchor tool and it will make the anchor point in the center. So now we have our text. Since we are going to create a 3D kind of movement, so we need a camera in the scene. So let's go to layer, new, camera and 35 millimeter. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. And it will give you a warning. Just click on OK. Now we have our camera and now let's another null object so that we can parent this camera to the null object. But before that, let's make the null as well as the text 3D. Now you can select the camera and you can parent it to the null. In case you are not able to see this parent, then you can right click under the columns. You can enable it. Now we have our text as well as the camera setup. So let's animate it using the keyframe. So I'm going to select the null. Then you can press P for position and let's add a keyframe for position. So this is going to be a final position. Now let's select this keyframe and we can move it to somewhere around five seconds, just like this. And in the beginning, we want our camera to be zoomed out. So for that, we are going to animate the Z property. So let's set it to something like this. Now let's add some depth of field to this. So in order to do that, you can select the camera layer then you can press a twice or you can go under the camera and here we have this camera option so from here you have to select and enable the depth of field and now if i move back you can see that nothing is happening because our aperture is very low so i'm going to increase this quite a bit so now you can see that we have this depth of field so our text is slowly revealing just like this now let's select our keyframes and I'm going to press F9 to easy ease them. And now I'm going to tweak this. So let's make sure that we are in the speed graph. So you can click over here and then click on this. After that, let's tweak the curve to look something like this. So there you go. Now we have our smooth text reveal animation just like this. Now, in order to create the effect, we are going to add a bunch of these text in the random 3D space. So in order to do that, we are going to first change the view. So from here, you can click and select the two view horizontal layout. Now you can see that it is showing us the main camera view as well as the top view. So here you can see we have our camera and you can see that it is animating just like this. So we are going to add a bunch of text over here. So first I'm going to select our main text, then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And if I move closer to it, you can see that it gives us options to move the text. So now I can move it in the Z space and let's just align it somewhere around here. Now you can play around with their position. 
and you can place it wherever you want also make sure to change the text so i'm going to type after effects and then again you can duplicate this and just place it somewhere around else so let's place it something like this and let's call this tutorials and you have to keep on doing this till that you have large number of text in the 3d space something like this so let's call this templates just keep on doing this and place the text randomly in the 3d space just like this you can also place just right over here and let's call this animation i'm going to duplicate one more time and let's place one of the text over here and let's move it a little bit further apart and let's call this motion graphics just like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have some sort of animation going on and we can probably select this one and move it further apart just like this now again if you think that this is really close then you can press select the null then press u and you can move the camera further apart just like this so now you can see we have bunch of text layer and i think we have added too much of depth of field so you can again select the camera then you can press a twice and let's decrease this to something like this yeah i think this is looking good so now just keep on adding this text so i'm going to fast forward this step so now we have added bunch of text layers and now you can see we have this kind of animation so now it's completely up to you you can add even more text over here just like i added these ones and you can type different names so just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to leave it over here and now let's see how you can improve this more so now let's go back to one view just like this and let's add some fading animation in the beginning because we are still able to see these text layer so i'm going to select all the text then press t for opacity and let's add a keyframe and move it somewhere around here and in the beginning i'm going to set these to zero so now you can see that we have this really nice fade up can probably move them somewhere around here just like this yeah so i think this is looking good now if you want to add logo you can place the text with the logo just place the logo over here and it will automatically start revealing just like this now you can add more animation to this so for example you can add rotation to this one so let's add a keyframe for the rotation then press u and let's move it to somewhere around here and in the beginning i'm going to let's rotate it something like negative 90 and let's place the keyframe over here now you can select the keyframes press f9 to easy them then under the graph you can change the curve to something like this so now you can see that we have added some rotation to this as well so now it's looking much better so in the same way you can add more animation to this so if you want to add some kind of position animation you can do that so let's select our camera and press p for position and let's add a keyframe over here and let's move it to somewhere around here let's add another keyframe and let's go to somewhere in the middle and i'm going to change the values just like this so now you can see we have this kind of look again we can select the keyframes then press f9 to make it smoother just like this so you can see that with the help of small tweaks we can completely change the animation let's give it a nice wipe movement as well so there you go now you have your really amazing text reveal animation so this is how you can create your fly through 
text reveal animation and again like i said you can add your logo over here and it will start animating just like this so i hope you learned something from this tutorial the project files for this one is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you want to learn more things about animation then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one yeah.